זו הפרשת קורח ליום רביעי. דרך הזה, כבן צי, כל אשר תמצא ידיך לעשות לכוחך עשה, דהו דברי ברנש את תפילת זמנה וימינה, וכל מה דהו עביד מבעלי אלא יהון אלא תגידן וימינה. כל אשר תמצא ידיך עד הזמנה לעשות לכוחך דהו ימינה, כמה דתמך ימינך השם להדרי בכוח. כיוון דברנש תזדהר דכל עובדו יהון לשמחה ימינה, וכן לשמחה וימינה כדין קושה ויחו שערי וגווני דהי עלמא ויכניש לגבי להו עלמא דתי. This is common C. Man has to make sure to include in the, on, in the right all the left. Because I mean, that means on the right is the side of the bounty of Chesed and on the left is the side of the Gura which is the vigors. So on the right are all the positive acts of the mitzvot and the good deeds. So all that could be in the left should be included on the right. And the left also corresponds to all the material possession, material acts, you know, that, are, that belong to this world here. And like we said, the right is more of the good deeds and the mitzvot. Right? As it is written in Shemot, the, your, your, your right will, will uh, show its uh, power. So we see that the uh, right is called power or force. So man should, should, uh, should uh, really be careful about making sure that all his acts are doing the right, which means what? That all his acts should be in conflict with bounty. I mean, even if acts belong to the left, which means there are physical acts or they, be they belong to the material world, he should make sure that there is on the right, which means there's a bounty. Right? That includes everything on the left in this right. And when he does that, then Hashem is with him, not only in this world, but he will take him and welcome him in the world to come. אלא יברא ברנש דמלכה קדישה יניחי עלי להו עלמא ויתן לי חולקה דעלמא דעתי שדלבי העלמא דעקלה עובדו וימינה וכל עובדו יהון נשמע דקודשה בליחו. ויעלי בתא קד וקנין שמיה עלמא לתת לעת דהנה בדינה דקיפה בדינה דגיהנם לתאמן העתה וחוכמה וסלקתנו ויתא זבה מדינה And men should not say, when I will go to this other world, to the world to come, then I will ask the king, the Lord, to have pity on me, and I will, I will, I will return in his ways. You cannot do that, because as, as it is written, there are no acts or uh, <coughs> accounts or knowledge in that dimension. As I said, when we're talking this mention, we're talking about the, you know, when man is buried. He said, uh, because one man leaves this world, and uh, if he wants that the, the, the Lord should show him the, the world to come, in the, I mean, because there's the world to come, in another word, it's the, what we call the Gan Eden, right? And then, so if Man wants Hashem to show him, we show him, we show him the way, how to get there. He said he has to make all these efforts in this world here. It's in this world that the merit of the person will allow him to go in. In other words, it's not after that he can transform or change anything, it's too late. It has to be done in this world here. Because when a uh, man passes, passes away and he has to go to the other world. He ha he's, he's, he's judge, and he's judged what we call the, the, the judgment of Gehinam. And there, there is no possibility of having any ideas or, uh, you know, there's, there's nothing to be saved from that. In other words, a, a man, it's here, depending on his act, that he's going to be directed to Gan Eden or to Gehinam. 
not in between that is going to do anything that's going to change this course. there's another way that we can also understand that. Is we know that in the in the Gehinam, right, there are different dimensions. The, there's one that's called Sheol, and there's one that's under this one that's called Abaddon. And uh, the one the ones that go to the first level, which call uh, uh, Sheol. This judge, and then from there, once he stays there, some say that he stays there for one year, and then he receives his punishment, and then he's a possibility to come out. But the one that go to this lower level, which is called Abaddon, they, they never come out. Once they get there, it's suffering for eternity. and the man that has good deeds, or what we call bar cheshbon, which means what? That is a man that has accounts. What does, what does that mean? It means that uh, every night, one man, before he goes to sleep, then he starts and he confesses about what he do, what he did. That's his like we says account that he gives account of what he did, all the the, the negative things. And he and if he thinks that things were negative, then he asks at this moment he has to be forgiven for all these uh, negative acts. And uh, this, it, it is asked why at this time is because at this time there is the the, the tree of death. It has dominance, right, which corresponds to the Sefirah Mahut at, at night, which comes down from its level. And all men taste the taste of death. And this is at this time that man has to come and give account to what he did and to confess and to regret anything that he would have done that is negative. And the one that do that, that's what they call the one that do a recount. Huh? Account means this when they will go to the next world, then they call them, oh, you made an account of what you, you did. Like you, you evaluated every day what you did, and if it was negative, you confessed. You asked forgiveness. This is also the ones that at this time, which means at night, are studying and are studying possible to sod, right? The most profound things and to get closer to the Lord when they go to the other world, then they are shown all the uh, sinners that are, are in the gain of. They just show them, they just make them pass and see them, and they see that they are uh, yelling, right? Because of the suffering that they have there. But of course, the just does not stay, it just passes by. Okay, 
הטבל יש תרשעה עם שאר צדיקיה דבגן אלן. צדקה חוקיון צדיקיה ועלמא דה ועלמא דה עתה אנו רכתיב צדיקים ידעו לשמך ישבו ישרים את פניך. That's why it is written there is no acts or accounts or knowledge in the Sheol, right? Sheol which is the Gehidam. So we can understand in another way. He says, uh, the one that does this accounts of his acts every day does not have to be in the Sheol. See, we can understand it this way. So always say, there is no acts and uh, no accounts and no knowledge in the Sheol. Or we can understand, there is no Sheol for the one that does accounts. Okay? And then they says this is for the person that does the account and and also that when it's that and chokhmah is added with that, which is the one that is that is learning this uh, this uh, I will say the sod because the secret knowledge because it's to get closer to the Lord. And then this person is only in the higher level, which is the Gan Eden, where he sees these beautiful lights. Right, and when we say of beautiful lights, it's not just the, the physical beauty of it, but the, the, the profoundness of this light, of these uh, things that are revealed. And Kadosh who comes in this place and is with all the, the, the righteous. So happy is the lot of the one that merit to have this place in the, uh, the, the world to come from this world here. Because it's here that we can accomplish these good deeds and have all the merits that will allow us to get in Began and then Amen to the answer.